I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them, and I will be their Lord forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. As we come together to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. And let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything, a time for everything under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot the plant, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to be far from embraces, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time of love and a time of hate, a time of war and a time of peace. What advantage has the worker from his toil? I have considered the task that God has appointed for the sons of man to be busied about. He has made everything appropriate to its time and has put the timeless into their hearts without man's ever discovering from the beginning to the end the work which God has done. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord my rock. Blessed be the Lord my rock. Blessed be the Lord my rock, my mercy, my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust. Blessed be the Lord my rock. Lord, what is man that you make that you notice him, the son of man that you should take thought of him? Man is like a breath, his days like passing shadow. Blessed be the Lord my rock. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, who do the crowds say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. <clears throat> then he said to them, but who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, the Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> well, good morning. Well, today we have this wonderful reading from Ecclesiastics. And I think what the author of this particular book was trying to tell us is that we can't be the same thing all the time. 
We can't be always in mourning. We can't be always joyful. We can't always be born. We're not always dying. We're not always scattering. We're not always gathering. Again, we're going to find ourselves in specific places at specific times. And we need to be prepared to react, to act, to be prepared for those moments. Because some of those moments may be the grandest of moments that we've ever experienced in our life. Perhaps the birth of a child, perhaps winning that football game because you kicked the field goal. Perhaps it's the uh, um, uh, getting married or seeing your first grandchild. And then there are times which are absolutely devastating. The death of a parent, the death of a loved one, even the death of a dog. It can make us realize that life is short. And I think that's what the author's trying to get across to us, is that life is short. We have a very finite amount of time on this world, but we have all been claimed by Christ, and we all proclaim him as the Christ of God, just as Peter did in our, in our readings today. So no matter what we're going through, whether we're planting, or, 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 or reaping, whether we're gathering or scattering, whether we're being born or, being, or, or dying, we are all Christ. So whatever we do in that interim period, between mourning and, we, and, and laughing, between jo joy and sorrow, life and death, whatever we do in those moments of our lives, whichever way we find ourselves, we should always be centered in Christ knowing that whatever we do, we do for him. Whatever we do to the least of our brothers and sisters, we do to him. Whatever we do for the glory of God, we do for him. Please stand. And now let us offer our petitions to our Heavenly Father. For the Pope, our Bishop, the clergy, and lay ministers, may the Holy Spirit continue to guide them in faith and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials and those who advise them, may the wisdom of the Lord imdue, them, imdue their work for the common good and the care of the vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For, those, for all who are suffering because of violence or hatred, may God restore peace and security again in, to their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God give us courage to use our gifts to bear good fruit for the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, knowing that Jesus is the Christ of God, May they enjoy the light of God's love for eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions of this Mass, which for the repose of the soul of Anne Merriweather, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we offer praise and glory to you on this morning. Fill us with the joy of this day, that whatever, whatever time, whatever place we find ourselves, we may always praise you. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. Become for us the bread of life. Blessed By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, through the vine and work of human hands, become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, <clears throat> wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sins. Amen. 
pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread... Therefore as, <clears throat> therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, glory, 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 glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. And let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, these you renew with this sacrament, that we come to possess your redemption both in mystery and the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. All right, everybody, have a good day. I didn't know if I was going to share this with you or not, but we've had a guest with us here at the altar today. You all can't see him, but we have Father Grasshopper here on the edge of the altar taking part in the, in the Lord's sacrifice. You see, all of creation yearns for the glory of God. All right? Take good care of yourselves. And Bobby, don't do anything harmful to this grasshopper. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. <laughs>